Man orders pizza every day for 10 years until employees realize something's very wrong. Kirk Alexander is a 48-year-old man who lives alone in his house in Salem, Oregon. His favorite food is pizza. For the better part of a decade, Alexander's been ordering from the same Domino's pizza shop almost every day. But one day he suddenly stopped, and the Domino's employees were shocked when they found out why. He orders every day, every other day, said Sarah Fuller, the general manager for the Domino's shop, when interviewed by reporters. His order pops up on the screen because he orders online, so we see it come across the screen and we're like, oh, Kirk's order. When his order stopped coming in for a few days, it gave them a bad feeling. Initially, they thought he might have been out of town, maybe for work or visiting family. Then more time went by. Fuller was approached by her delivery drivers who had noticed that Alexander's order hadn't popped up on their screens for a while. So Fuller checked the system and saw he hadn't ordered anything for 11 days straight. That's when she knew something was wrong. Alexander had been getting his food from that place for years. He orders all the time, so we know him, said Fuller. The staff knew him as a nice, quiet, and friendly guy. He was friends with them and some even saw him as a family member. They knew he never took trips that long. Could it be they got sick of pizza and started ordering from a new place? Kirk is a well-known customer, but he doesn't have a regular order. He'll order anything from pasta or pizza to sandwiches or wings. It's never Doctor the same Doctor delivers every time. healthy baby. Clearly, then Alexander sees the was getting enough variety and realizes in from it's a mirror. And he was a man of habit. Employees feared that the great reason when for you're cruising around the internet something more stories. unsavory. Millions of people visit As their staff Reddit became every day more worried, who just Fuller to decided to send them employees to with check the up on their loyal customer. Reddit even has sub The task fell upon delivery drivers to see how they can read As stories As he approached the front door, there's he an could see that the lights amount of were topics outside. that can be looked into. He got closer, which is exactly how we found from the television. Unbelievable story. Then he knocked on the door. One of the there was no general sections on Reddit. knocked again a few more times, but to no avail. In he then called Alexander's cell phone number things, or went straight even to tell of personal experience his with gut photographic told him proof. something was wrong. A Redditor so who goes by the name back to the restaurant and talk to his colleagues. They a Redditor who goes by the name after talking Zanthoff with the rest of the staff. Emlyn called by an amazing woman. photo in 2015. Well, I need some help and on what to the miracle do that was be an emergency, birth of his son. Began. This is Domino's Pizza, biologically and we have a customer that carry and orders give like children every night from us. Regardless of and he this, it's ordered in 11 for days. something to go After wrong getting all the details time. from Hamlin, there's no the short supply of the infants and women casualties. Department. Due to complications drenched his deputy to Alexander's home, this is unsure of what they went underdeveloped country. When the police arrived at the house, One of the they knocked on the this door and tried calling out to him. The Surprisingly, there was a response for delivering nutrients. They could tell it was a man the calling mother for help. to the baby. So they During broke into the house and found the Alexander them. laying on the ground. Unfortunately, the if officers the immediately cord, called an ambulance, in the wrong which picked place, up Alexander and transported him to a nearby hospital. The infant could it suffocate like from having the cord wrapped around its and neck. And paramedics were able to stabilize him. Tangled, but his cutting off the source of it as there were no witnesses of the incident. This redditor found this out the hard way. How the long pregnancy had it been between of his and when he was wife went as smoothly Luckily, as Luckily, after some life-saving care, it there were no like he was going to make a full recovery. No serious complications. Domino's no staff was delighted to hear the news. We're when like the a family here, for the baby and we're glad we were able to do something to help. We hope there he's was able no to fully way recover all their preparations to prepare them for Now, what you would probably happen. think these people are when heroes, the big day but finally disagreed. arrived, everything was going I think planned. we were just doing our After job checking in on someone we know who ordered the delivery room. We felt like we needed to do something. Is that when it played fuller, fuller? But stayed off the their side. humility is so truly So we didn't inspiring. end up in the doctor's That way. didn't stop the media from After going crazy the about the story. The news spread through town and local outlets. Is that the frog made its way to nationwide newborn baby was born? Good morning, America. Interviewed Fuller and her child's first cry Jenny heart was stolen. The pair the baby was the cleaned and checked evening, out by the, the doctor. Host congratulated all them he could follow about was and happy he doing was. the right thing. When the doctor she also asked them for on updates, baby, he was immediately pulled out of his state. They'd been able to visit him in the hospital. When the doctors were cutting the umbilical cord, they noticed Robin Roberts that, that she'd a perfect been able to knot. see Alexander three Most times. Most of the time, this would have meant that the blood wasn't flowing to the baby. The first day he was out of it and could only answer yes or no. He would surely die. On the second day, he was breathing normally, and by the third day, he was well enough to be moved to the And his skin was the normal color. Rehabilitation wing. He was perfect. Then Roberts Doctors gave Seabrook how rare it was for surprise. something like this to happen, so they Since urged you the guys to catch her. We're going to send Hurry you up, to Dad, Captain America. Picture. Your Civil baby's War, a miracle, said Robert. Yelled one of the doctors, announcing that the whole Zathoth staff will be getting tickets. So and of that course he all. did. Domino's corporate office would be sending because Fuller, he knows how Seabrook, lucky he is and to delivery have man Tracy little Hamlin to the Domino's after he shared the picture on Reddit. A yearly convention of Domino's members takes place in Las Vegas. Simply amazing. We think it's the least. And others who had their own for helping to save a man's life. The story in particular caught everyone's eye.
The Redditor stated that he was an anesthesiologist that had over 15 years experience in the delivery and operating rooms. He told Azathoth Frog congratulations and then told how lucky their family was. He said that during his career he'd seen so many miraculous things, but the saddest story was one involving the umbilical cord. A pregnant woman had a scheduled C-section for her child's birth. The day before her C-section, the woman went to the doctor's office to make sure everything was all set for the arrival of her baby. Everything looked fine, so she was sent home. When she arrived at the hospital the next day, the woman was given horrible news. The woman was prepped for the surgery by doctors and nurses. When she was given a final ultrasound, the baby didn't seem to be moving, and the doctors couldn't find a heartbeat. It didn't take long before the doctors realized that throughout the night, the cord knotted and the baby didn't survive. It was a heartbreaking story, but actually a pretty rare occurrence. Tangles and loops in the umbilical cord happen quite often, but according to data, only 1% of cords have actual knots in them that prevent the blood flow. In most circumstances, umbilical cords have a mucus substance in them called Wharton's jelly, which protects the blood vessels from being constricted. You won't believe how interesting Wharton's jelly is. At the time of birth, the outside conditions are way cooler than those inside the mommy's womb. When the cord makes contact with cool air, the Wharton's jelly shrinks, turns hard, causing it to squeeze and close off the blood vessels. Because of this, the cord will naturally clamp off before the doctors even have a chance to cut it. But doing this doesn't make it useless. Umbilical cords contain cells that have the ability to regenerate and create different types of cells. These stem cells can make bone, cartilage, muscle, and fat. Research on cord tissue is currently being performed to see how it can be used to treat conditions such as multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's disease, and rheumatoid arthritis.